Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to dive into the world of networking and explore how to view listening ports using a command line tool called Netstat. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss any of our future tech tutorials. Alright, let's get started. Monitoring listening ports can help detect any unauthorized or suspicious network connections or services running on when diagnosing network connectivity issues. Knowing which ports are open and listening can provide valuable insights into the health of your network. It can help pinpoint where communication is failing or identify misconfigured services. First things first, let's open up our command prompt or terminal window. Open the command line as administrator. Run the following netstat command to list all ports. When you run netstat and include the letter NN, you'll get a list of all active network connections and listening ports on your system, displayed using numerical addresses without hostname resolution. This can be particularly useful for quickly inspecting network activity without waiting for hostname resolution. If you just run the command with just the letter A, it will list all the ports but will try to resolve the IP addresses for all of them before listing, which could slow down the process of ports listing. As you can see, We've got a list of all the active connections and the ports they're using. Here's how to interpret the different parts of the output. Proto. This column indicates the protocol used by the connection, which can be either TCP or UDP. This column shows the IP address and port number of the local endpoint of the connection. For TCP connections, it represents the local IP address and port number being used by your system. For UDP, it indicates the local port number. For an address, this column displays the IP address and port number of the remote endpoint of the connection. For TCP connections, it represents the IP address and port number of the remote system or server. For UDP, it indicates the remote port number. State, this column is specific to TCP connections and shows the current state of the connection. For those interested in listing all listening ports along with their associated process ID, you can utilize the following command, the letter O. This option includes the process ID associated with each connection. It displays the owning process ID for each connection, allowing you to identify which process or program is using a particular port. This can be particularly useful for identifying which process is using a specific port, aiding in network troubleshooting and management. To filter the list of ports to display only those belonging to a specific protocol, such as TCP, you can utilize the P option with Netstat. Here's how you can use this command to exclusively show TCP listening ports. To list only UDP ports run the following command. You can learn more about Netsat by visiting the Microsoft page. And there you have it. That's how you can use Netstat to view listening ports on your system. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.